Hi and welcome to The Running Channel. I'm Anna and today, along with Andy, we're going to be giving you a first look at the brand new ASICS Gel Keanu 27. Yep, this shoe's just been released, so we're going to take you through all the things you need to know about it, including the tech that's involved, what it's like to run in, as well as what we think of this brand new version of a heritage ASICS shoe model. We're not paid by the brands to say nice things and all of the opinions in this video are our own. Don't forget to subscribe to The Running Channel and tap that bell icon so you get notified when we upload new videos all about running, which we do every week, including first looks at brand new kit, running entertainment, some challenges and some helpful how-tos. But for now, let's dive straight in and look at these shoes. The Gel Keanu line is a bit of a heritage model for ASICS. In fact, it's been around since 1993 with the very first ASICS Gel Keanu trainer. And they've updated it and released new models ever since until we get to the Keanu 27, which is the one that we'll be talking about today. So what is in this shoe? Well, it's got the ASICS Flight Foam technology through the midsole, which is designed to give bounce back and a cushioned feel. It's also got the gel technology in the heel, so a pretty staple aspect to most ASICS trainers that you'll find. And it has a removable EVA sock liner too, which is here cushioned, you can replace that with your own insoles if you want to. So those three technologies are designed to make the Keanu a cushioned, comfortable trainer. The shock absorbent qualities of the gel in the rear is, it means that this shoe really is a great all rounder for any kind of length of run. So really interestingly for the Gel Keanu 27 is that there are some pretty significant differences between the men's version and the women's version. So ASICs say there are three main differences between the two genders. Uh, the first is the trustic system. So what that means is that women get more support for the forward motion, whereas for men, they have more support on the inside of the arch. The foam underfoot, women get three millimeters more foam than men do, and that is to balance out the differences in biomechanics between men and women when they run. And also finally, the midsole. So for women, the composition of the midsole is just slightly softer than that of the men's. And those three differences, ASICs say, are all down to the fact that men and women run differently. So it's going to be pretty hard to gauge exactly what those differences feel like because I'm not going to be running in Andy's shoes and Andy's not going to be running in mine. But it's worth pointing out that those differences are there when it comes to the men's and women's shoes. According to ASICS, the redesigned mesh upper will help keep your feet cool and the sole is more flexible to promote a more natural roll through the whole gait cycle. As a stability or support shoe, the Kayano 27 uses ASIC's dynamic Duramax system, which essentially means there are two different densities of foam in the midsole, a firmer one on the inside and a softer one on the outside. The idea being that that helps prevent overpronation or too much rolling in. Underneath the shoe, you can see this piece of plastic here, which ASICs call their Space Trustic technology, essentially aiming to provide more support for less weight. So overall, the ASICs Gel Kayano 27 is aimed at all abilities of runner, no matter what level. And as an everyday trainer that combines both comfort and support, Let's put it to the test and see how we get on. On putting on the Keanu 27s, the very first thing that springs to mind is how solid they are. They just feel very well engineered, but also, you know, almost indestructible is how I would feel when you put them on. With that solidity comes weight, but that's reassuring for a support shoe. And actually the tongue is really plush. The cushioning around the heel area is also really plush and just adds to that premium feeling. So they're really comfortable. The tongue itself is held in place by a traditional loop that the laces pass through to hold it in place. And so far, so good. So first run out in the ASICS Gel Keanu 27. First thoughts. And you can really feel how plush they are. They're um, really cushioned, really comfortable. And I can certainly see myself going out on some long runs in these and feeling like they're gonna give me a bit of support and just that cushioning from when you're, when your feet start getting a bit tired towards the end of a long run. They do feel incredibly comfortable. I've described the feel as a kind of stiff cushioning. So they're definitely stiffer than my regular neutral shoes that I run in, but not to their detriment. They just feel like they're guiding my feet in a different way. Well, these shoes aren't necessarily built for speed work. So they're definitely shoes I would take out 
like I said, on long runs, but on some like shorter recovery runs, just anything where just plodding along nicely. Um, I definitely choose a bit of a lighter weight shoe personally, personal preference for any faster stuff or tempo runs, but the Gelkiano 27 is, um, as I say, a very comfortable shoe. As I get a little bit further into my run, I've become more aware of that plastic truss underneath my arch and actually the fact that the arch support in general is quite pronounced, so that's worth bearing in mind. It's something I've found with ASIC shoes in the past as well. So they provide that extra support, but it does feel slightly different to some other shoes. They definitely feel like an expensive shoe, if you know what I mean. So they're not the cheapest shoes out on the market. They are super comfy and would make a great shoe for a beginner, but um, you'd have to be willing to spend a bit of cash on them. But I would say that they are definitely worth the price point. So when I was lacing up and now over the course of this run, I feel like the shoes are true to size, both in terms of length and width, and they don't feel like they've loosened up too dramatically either. So I feel like right now, straight out of the box, I could head out for a pretty decent run, albeit with the caveat that that arch support is something that probably needs a little bit of getting used to. Anyone who's seen any of our previous uh, shoe review videos on the running channel that I've done will know that I do have a bit of a wide foot. So with these Gelkianos, I have actually relaced them to suit my foot. So all I've done is just missed out a pair of eyelets on the way up and relaced them just to give myself a bit of extra room. And if you're not sure what I mean, check out our video about how to tie your shoelaces. Yes, really, on the running channel. Because there's some really useful tips on there if you struggle um, with tight spots or wide bits on your feet for different ways that you can lace your shoes to alleviate that. So first thoughts on the Gelkiano 27. I like them. They are comfy. They feel like I'm running with pillows on my feet with support though. And they're definitely a pair of shoes that I would grab for a long run and not worry about that achy tired feet feeling at the end just because of how cushioned and, and comfortable they feel. So what's my verdict on the ASICS Gel Kyono 27? Well, first off, it's that it does what it sets out to do. It feels like a supportive shoe when running. It felt like it guided my foot in a slightly different way to a neutral shoe. It felt like I could feel that throughout the gait cycle. And it feels substantial and solid, which is what you want from a support shoe. That's something else to note, is that it is quite a heavy shoe, but that's because it provides you with that extra layer of support without losing cushioning. So do bear that in mind, this is definitely not a shoe for faster, shorter speed work or anything like that. But it does provide you with a good level of protection. On that note, it broadly, it feels bulletproof. The, the upper feels very premium. The cushioning around the heel is actually really soft and I found that really nice and supportive. And it feels like they've thrown a lot of technology at the shoe with the heel cup here, the plastic truss underneath, the dual density midsole and the cushioning, it feels like you're getting quite a lot for your money. Now I do all of my running in neutral shoes, but for a big proportion of my running career, I actually was wearing support shoes and I have also run in previous versions of the Kayano. So it's worth making sure that you're running in the right shoes for you, because ultimately neutral or supportive shoes, either or could give you problems if your gait doesn't require one or the other. So make sure that you understand whether you need this level of support before you invest in what is you know, an expensive flagship shoe. As I've kind of said already, they're not the lightest shoe and they're not the most responsive shoe, but they did feel pretty much bulletproof out there. And after running in them a few times, there's almost no signs of wear at all, which is a great sign. My overall verdict would be that if you're familiar with the Kayano series, you've worn them before and you know that you need a support shoe, then you can't go too far wrong. If you're a beginner and you're new to running and you're trying to work out what type of shoe you need, definitely head to your local specialty running store to find out what your gait is and what type of shoe would be right for you. So what are my thoughts on the new ASICS Gel Keanu 27 having taken them out for a test run? Well, I like them. They are super comfortable, they feel really cushioned and support shoes can sometimes get a bit of a bad rap for feeling a little bit stiff when you run in them, especially for a neutral runner like me. But that's certainly not something that I experience whilst running in these. And it's definitely a shoe that I would take out, as I say, 
for a long run without worrying that my feet are gonna end up being tired and achy by the end. So overall, pretty impressed with this one. What do you think of the new Asics Gel Keanu? Or maybe you've got your eye on a different new shoe that you'd like us to review here on The Running Channel. Please let us know in the comments below and we'll see you next time on The Running Channel.